Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to this play Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we made it our way to the casino after taking on some of the Solid Sam challenges, and we went through a quick rundown of the various uh, games ran by the various cute uh, casino girls who appear to be living, actually, by the way, unless they too are under the effects of a poison apple spell, but I don't think they are. And we also saw this hot ghost chick who's rocking some pretty nice cleavage for being dead, if I do say so myself. And, uh, well, she's not really important or anything. I just thought she was bueno. Extra bueno. And, okay, I didn't really go over the casino games too well last time. Um, so I'm going to re-go over a couple of them real fast. All right, let's start with this one right here. See how cute she is? See how hot she is? She's a cheating bitch. Yeah. Um... The, the amount of times that you'll get like 18 and she'll get 19 or 20 or perfect frickin' jackpot is, or not jackpot, a uh, blackjack is just frickin' ridiculous. I'm just gonna go through a couple hands here. Let's just go, uh, eh, let's just, let's just go 10 since I know she's gonna cheat anyways. So let's see, okay. So I got, I got, uh, 8 right there, so let's hit that. 18, um, don't, don't bother hitting that because, well, 18 is not good, but guarantee you she's going to end up with like 19 or some shit. Watch. And she'll have like five cards. Well, sometimes, sometimes you get lucky, but a lot of times she will cheat so bad. It's ridiculous. By the way, if you manage to get, uh, if you win, if you win a hand, you get uh, triple your stake. If you get a, per if you get a jackpot, you get, um, quadruple your stake. So there's that. So let's see. King 12. Now, see the problem. The problem with this game is, at least in my, in my experience, is anything higher than a freaking 10 in the original hand, and you hit it, they're, they're, they're more they're more than likely going to give you a freaking uh, uh, face card or some shit like that to bump you over. I mean, you might get lucky every once in a while, but usually the odds are not in your favor with this game. Now, see, it's probably not a good idea for me to hit on this one, so I'm just going to leave it there. But she's probably going to end up uh, winning here with some bullshit. Yeah, see, there you go. Yeah, she cheats like a little bitch, but she's too cute to get mad at her. Actually, no, she's... Well, you can get mad at her, I guess. Oh, anyways, let's try a few more rounds just for the heck of it. Okay, 16. Um, I'm not going to bother. There you go. There's uh, her luck in action again. Let's see. Try a few more times here. Let's see. 10, hit me. There we go, stand. Now, there's no way she's going to get j Jack Black, otherwise... Yeah, see, she always manages to get nice high cards. I mean, I've, I've seen her get freaking a straight-up 21 and four cards in her hand, so it's pretty ridiculous sometimes. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll stand here. Unless she has a... Ser seriously? Eh, she's a real pain in the ass, so let's just put it that way. 13, let's hit that. Now let's stand. But you're not gonna you're not gonna make a profit on blackjack unless you get like freaking winning the lottery fucking lucky or something, cause they, they just cheat too much in my opinion over here. You're not gonna you're not gonna do great. Gee, it, it, there's convenient there, lady, a little bitch. Oh well. Try this again. You know, let's just go for fifty. Just for the heck of it. Nineteen, I'll stand. Okay, we got lucky there, barely. All right, let's try one more round, shall we? And then we'll move on to some other stuff here. Yeah, 14, and yeah, of course I get a fucking 8. Good job, thanks, I appreciate that. Um, all right, screw you, lady. I, I don't care how cute you are, I'm ignoring you from now on. It's a shame, because she's the cutest one. Uh, okay, I tried several of the machines here, and honestly, I can't win for... I can't win for shit on these freaking uh, slot table or uh, slot machines here. Like, none of them seem to pay out, like, at all. I, it's... It, it's just not working out, in my opinion. I mean, some people have insane luck with video game slots. I've never been the, the best with them, but, uh... You'd think I'd win something here. Okay, that's out of three. Or apparently out of four. No, this, this is the fourth one, I think. All right, let's see. Can I get something here? I cannot. One more, just for the luck of the draw here. Yeah, these are very 
rat bastardly, and I cannot win on these to save my freaking life. So screw you guys. All right, let's um. I wonder if these have any names on them. It would be nice if the if the little potions there had like uh names you could read. Like these could be like love potions or something like that, and one over here could be like fortune potion or something. I don't know. Anyways, let's try a few. Let's try um, the double agent game here, the double cross. Uh, I'll be honest. I tried it off screen. Uh, I made it about three feet in the first one because they're much much harder than the ones in the Temple of Trials. Like way way harder it's ridiculous all right so let's see the road to ruin and yeah you don't get very good prizes until the last one and the last one you win um what is it uh three thousand uh whatchamacallits yeah you win three thousand yeah see they, they go down so fast in this in this version it's ridiculous i mean on the on the, in the temple of trials you at least had a few uh you at least had a fighting chance because they didn't go down that fast but here, you, you can't you you can't inch your way forward. You have to freaking you have to be like an ape escape champion from like the PlayStation One days in order to get going on here. And yeah, I I don't think I'm gonna make it very far on these things. I mean, if you're really coordinated with your thumbs, well, you can probably do this. I apparently uh, cannot. So goodbye. I think I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you can double up your stakes on that. Like, I'm assuming you can, but it's honestly such a crapshoot if you're gonna if you're gonna win or not. That honestly, I'm not sure if that's worth it. Anyways, let's go back to the table where you really make the money at. If you have good luck, if you have my luck, you'll only end up making about a hundred thousand. So, I mean, you, you can have great luck or you can have horrible luck, but uh, I have horrible luck for the most part. All right, so let's see. I, we explained all the cards. Uh, face cards um, two through nine have their uh, number value. The Joker switches the cards. The Ace always loses unless it's up against the King. The King always wins unless it's up against an Ace. So for something like this, you want to pop the Ace and the Joker together. That way, you can switch them with what you think is going to be their strongest hand. And then for the rest of this, I'm just going to make a bunch of a. Uh, strong hands if I can and it's something that I read in a in a, in a fact and something you guys told me and it turned out to be true for the most part as far as I can tell at least is that the computer actually has a a pattern to how they'll how they'll do things uh, they'll tend to put their special cards like ace and joker and king on the left side of their hand right here so on their left side of the screen they'll probably have like a king or an ace or a joker um, and usually about the third one is about as far as they'll put it and anything over this way to uh, to the last two piles is gonna be straight up numbers and something else that I found out um, if they have if they happen to get a crappy hand with themselves like let's say they get a card uh, that only has like a ace or a joker and then the rest are kings or what or no, not kings uh, numbers or whatever uh, they'll put the, the few face cards they have in the one or two piles over here and then the rest of it will be numbers so basically if you if you if you're playing if you're playing against a computer and you go balls out and you go for a middle pile like this one right here or not a middle pile but this is second pile right here and there's nothing but numbers in there then it's almost guaranteed that the that the uh, third pile will also be pure numbers because they have they didn't get a good hand and then uh, if they did get a special card it'll be here in this left pile right there so that's one way you can kinda um, try to predict them now I hate the I hate 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 that th these little rap bastards are allowed to pick your uh, your cards to win that that's some bullshit they should not be able to do that but unfortunately yeah the little fucking bitch decides hey I want to use your fucking cards um, all right, so I'm predicting this hand to win or this card to win, so I want it to go up against you. I'm assuming that one on the left is just either a a uh, it, it can't be a Joker by itself, but it could be a Bishop. Um, and in that case, if I switched it with my Joker right there, which does have a value of one, then that would end up losing. So I'm gonna hope that uh, this has a King or something in it, or it could have a Joker. Um, Hey, you little bitch. 
Okay, that was not how things were supposed to play out there, but okay. Okay, we're, we're winning one here. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and use her hand right here and hope that this is actually a king. That way, um, that way I don't win and lose half my fucking winnings. Cause there's nothing worse than getting up to like the fifth round or something and having a hundred thousand chips and the fucking bitch uh, puts it on your strongest fucking hand, so you lose half your fucking winnings. It's fucking bullshit. But anyways, still, uh, okay, good. Ha! Now you don't get half my stake, you little you little bitch. Uh, I'm probably not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna win this hand because, well, fucking, she screwed me over by choosing my fucking hand, the little slut. I, I hate this fucking bitch right here, she, that is some fucking bullshit that she is allowed to choose your fucking hand right there. I'm sorry if I'm getting kind of mad here, but, uh, I know how to play the fucking game, I mean, I, I it's just, the cheat's so fucking bad, it's ridiculous. And the only way, the only way you're gonna win sometimes is if you cut your whole entire fucking stake in half, which is some bullshit right there. So that pisses me off to no fucking end. It's ridiculous. Anyways, let's try a few more hands here. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got some kings. Um, which means she probably is gonna have a few the uh, aces to fuck with us. And yeah, I I get horrible luck after a certain point in the. Uh, in the round, like, the game throws a hissy fit if I get to, like, the fourth round, and then it just gives me nothing but fucking face cards and, like, three, three fucking bishops or some bullshit. It, it, it pisses me off. It really does. Anyways, let's see. We got two high hands, two kings. We should be good. Alright, so let's go ahead and just put the king as a victor. There we go. You chose my 17. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and put you right there at the end. That way it's guaranteed win. Thank you. There we go. We got our prediction back. Now, unless she really screws us over. All right. I'm not. I'm not going to give her a chance to use my uh, cards against me here. I'm just going to take the king and just win it right here. Thank you. Yeah, because otherwise she would have. Screwed me over somehow. I don't know how she would have done it, but she would have she would have found some way. And I don't think there's a way to quadruple your winnings in this game. Like uh, with blackjack, you can get the uh, actual blackjack and quadruple your winnings. Uh, instead of getting uh, 150 chips back on a 50 stake bet, you would get 200 back. But here, I think the best you can do is just triple whatever your uh, your current stake is. So I don't think there's any way to higher it up at all. All right, let's see. Ooh. That's not bad. That's not bad. This will actually be not bad at all. All right, so let's put a bishop and a joker, and then let's make two big hands here. And again, she's going to choose our fucking hands because she cheats like that, the little bastard. But oh well. I'm, a I'm actually getting lucky that they're actually choosing reasonably uh, uh, tolerable hands this time, but I, uh, once I get to any further than like the fourth round she'll start screwing me over uh let's see king you're gonna win no matter what so unless unless she goes first and screws me over by um switching somehow with the bishop or something all right i'm assuming that her top left hand or one of her left hands is gonna have the ace joker combo that's so popular here so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh let's see let's just go right let's do this let's put you right here and if ah, let's see, okay, there we go. All right, okay, good. We're doing good. All right, very nice. Now, okay, something that okay, something that threw me up for a few times, uh, but then I figured it out after a while was whatever whatever slot is flagged. It's not the cards in that slot that are flagged. It's the actual slot. So if I switch this over to, or if I played this and I played it against this right here, and it won, like this deck right here that she has, uh, beat the deck uh, of the wizard and the joker or whatever, uh, that would still count as that slot winning. So it's not just it's not the cards that are set there originally. It's whatever ends up there that ends up winning. So gotta watch out for that. So hopefully this is not a special card. Yes, okay, perfect. Alright. 
So now we're going to have, what, 5,000-ish? 4,000, okay. Now, let's see. So we can get up to 12,000. Actually, no. If we get really lucky, we can get 21,000 total. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see? This is the bullshit. They start pulling. They start just slamming freaking aces uh, over over uh, here repeatedly. It gets ridiculous after a while. But I'm going to try to fake them out. Uh, they, they might they might think that those uh, these two are kings or something, and they might mark them to win. So let's see. Let's just go for some big hands here. Let's see, go for you, you, and, you know, just in case she has a king, a king with her, I'm just going to go ahead and put that there, that way it could possibly win. Okay, that, uh, that first hand is kind of worrying me here. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and set you for the winner right here. Okay, she's going to choose... Oh, she actually chose her own hand, so... I don't know why she would choose that card down there. When it's... You son of a bitch. Now, that's some fucking bullshit right there. How would she have known to choose that fucking card with that low-ass fucking number down? See, this game fucking pisses me off. It, it's bullshit. Um, Alright, so you know what? Let's just go for a king versus you down here. Don't screw me over. Thank you. Yeah, she just cheats so bad. It... I'm pretty sure that... Okay, that works. I... I'm pretty sure that uh, her left hand is going to have like a... The bishop or something in there that I don't want to know about. Um... Okay, that might be a king right there. Uh... Let's try it. Because if it's a king, awesome. If it turns out to be... I I it can't be a joker, actually. Um, it could be a draw. If that turns out to just be a bishop right there, then that'll be a draw. And then if this turns out to be a good hand with a lot of special cards in it, then that'll beat my 21 down there and I'll be screwed. So you know what? Let's hope that she has like a king in here or something. That'd be awesome. Or she has a joker. Okay, perfect. Nice. I, I was hoping she didn't have a... Uh, a uh, joker and a king in there otherwise I would have been screwed right there and lost my and lost my uh, my round pretty much all right that worked out pretty good so we're doing reasonably good I wish you would stop cheating but oh well let's see always got to toss that motherfucking uh, joker in there or wizard in there don't you all right let's see so let's try to make a uh, three good powerful hands here I gotta sneeze. Hang on. Of course, as soon as I say that, I don't have to sneeze anymore. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright. Now, let's see. Nine, eight, seven, four, four, and six. I need what? Let's change this up a little bit. No, not you. You. There you go. There we go. That's better. Right, I'm gonna just go ahead and choose uh, yeah that let's just choose that as our strongest hand and then we'll just be able to take it up against somebody at the end right there or she can do this okay doing good so that means there's no special cards to the right of that still so we're still good let's see we can easily just uh, go here I don't I doubt that's gonna be more than 25 sometimes that last pile will just have like straight tens or something like that and some bullshit like that and you'll you, you'll think you'll be able to win with like a hand of like 19 and no you'll be fucked because she somehow managed to squeeze three freaking Queens in there or something or not not Queens but like three tens or three nines or some bullshit all right I don't actually I don't think there is tens but yeah she'll have she'll have like three nines in there or something so, some bullshit that you don't want to know about all right, so we're at 6,000. Not bad. Almost 7,000. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and try it one more time here. I'm going to hope that they actually give me a good hand and not screw me over with uh, straight uh, wizards and freaking twos. Okay, this is actually not a bad hand. Usually, I get screwed around this point. All right, let's see. Can't put the Joker by itself, but let's put a ace... 
and a Joker. I was trying to go for the end there, but oh well. Let's see, King by yourself. And good, we have enough for three reasonably power hands here. Uh, let's see, let's put you. Nope, not you. Uh, let's see, come uh, here. Eight, six. Dang it, Joker, you're supposed to be over there, dude. By the way, somehow earlier, uh, I forget, I don't know how I did it, but, um, somehow earlier, I made two of the cards down here light up, and I don't know how I did it. It might have been just like a glitch or something, I don't, I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to do it any other, uh, any other time. I think it was just a glitch, but somehow I managed to select two cards out here. Not that it actually has any practical purpose as far as I can tell, but I just managed to do it, and I can't figure out how to get it to redo it. I mean, I guess it would be nice to, like, uh, uh, put, like, a fat stack together or something, but, oh well. Anyways, we should be good here. Alright, which one of my hands are you going to choose this time, you little bastard? Uh, let's see. King, I'll choose you, because you're going to win. Oh, she's actually choosing her own hand. Okay. Let's see. Challenger leads. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and just... See, I'm worried that that's going to... Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and put our Bishop and Joker against hers right there. And hopefully she doesn't have something too bastardly in there. Alright. Uh, perfect. That worked out fantastic. Her hand lost, my hand won, therefore she can't take half my winnings. Thank you. Alright, and now we're going to go ahead and all right, put you over here. And there's our... And there is our plus 50%. I thought it was 50%. She only gave me... Oh, she did. Okay, for some reason I thought I started out with 30. Okay, never mind. Well, there we go, 90,000. And we could go further. However, I am of the opinion that if we go any further, she will cheat and I will lose my winnings. So, 90,000. Once I get to the fifth round, I just say screw it. I mean, I've heard people tell tales of winning up to freaking eight or 900,000 or a million uh, tickets in one hand. However, I am not of the opinion that that's going to be very effective simply for the fact that, well, she'll start giving me a hand of like three twos, five threes, and a fucking bishop or something. And now, we can just go ahead and just grab a whole bunch of sprite dues here, which are very nice. Uh, let's see, I don't think we have any of these in our bag, so we might as well grab like one or two of these. By the way, uh, something I forgot to mention. If you're going for, like, the, uh, fill out the bestiary, or the, uh, what is it? Let's see. The trophies here where you get the, let's see, let's see if it actually says it here. Um, let's see. Is it going to say it? I don't think it's going to say it, but, uh, I think there's a trophy for, like, uh, filling up your... Let me, let me check, actually. I think it has something to do with, like, getting all the familiars uh, maxed out or whatever in your journal or whatever. So let me let me see here. Either way, what I'm trying to say here is get, uh, get two of each of these uh, tickets because uh, this way you can... E each of the uh, familiar tickets, that way you can uh, metamorphose it to both of its final stages because they both count towards, like, the uh, trophy or whatever it is. Let's see, where is it? Uh, I think it's Familiarologist or something like that. Um, I Is is there... Because it says, uh, awarded for taming 250 species. And yeah, let's see. Uh, no, there's way more than 250 species now that I look at it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I don't know what I'm babbling about then. But, uh, I, I guess if you're having trouble, like, finding, like, all of the other, uh, familiars or whatever, uh, you can just buy these ones, and there's 
an easy couple out of the way. Um, so yeah, try to buy uh, two Eidor tickets and two uh, Tin Man tickets. I'm not going to worry about them yet. I'll get them eventually. But uh, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and... Actually, nobody can even equip that. But you know what? I'm just going to have one just to have it. And then... Okay, I, I know that the Medal of Agility uh, sells for slightly more than the Sprite do. But the problem is, it uh, sells slightly less than two Sprite dudes. And I know, I know what you guys are saying. Oh, if you get a, uh, if you get like nine hundred thousand tickets, you could stock up on uh, Metal of Agilities faster than you could on uh, Sprite dues, selling them and then coming back for another sack of Sprite dues. However, that tiny little bit of money is reasonably worth it in my opinion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, stock up on these. Let's see. Um, plus, Sprite dues are good because they're good healing. Two hundred HP to all allies. That's really good. That's like ridiculously good, actually, in my opinion. And then, let's see, so, they're not only good for selling, they're also good just for having around in general. And I'm kind of mad, because earlier, I was, uh, I, I was distracted, and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, and as you can see, I bought a fat lot of, uh, big, big bananas here that aren't really all that useful. Um, I think I am going to pick up, uh, one of these, though, um, Probably don't need more than just the one, but I'll, I'll get more eventually. Yeah, Sprite Dews, very nice little price here. And yeah, you could go further in the, what is it, the, the Amplitude game, but it is cheat so much in my opinion. I, I mean, I think I'm going to go ahead and try for one more round. Oh, not you. Um, okay, I thought I might have bought a second one of those by accident. Oops. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try for one more round of a uh, of a uh, hundred thousand tickets uh, uh, guilders here. In case you haven't realized, this is just gonna be a uh, screwing around of the platoon episode or uh, casino episode here. But uh, either way, I'm gonna try again and hope that she doesn't uh, start cheating at some point. All right, so we're doing good. All right, so we have enough for at least. At least uh, three matches here, so let's try this again. All right, give me some good stuff, man. Give me some good stuff. All numbers. See, they would have done something like this uh, at that sixth hand last time and given her like, uh, like enough for like two Joker Bishop combos and like three Kings or some bullshit like that. So yeah, they they start cheating after a while, in my opinion. So if you get a hand like this, that's not all that good. Uh, one one thing that's good to do is set up a uh, set up two crapshoot hands at the end, and then just try to get to uh, like a twenty or so with your other your three other piles. Uh, maybe maybe not twenty exactly, but tr try to try to get good high numbers on three piles, and then just set those last two up as throwaways. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and set U22 as the winner here. You're screwing me over already. Nice to see. Seriously, one freaking point. That's some bullshit. Ah, that, that is... Okay, that's pissing me off right. But this is not going to have any special cards in it because that uh, card to the left of it didn't have any special cards in it. So there you go. That's one way to, well, kind of too decent. Okay, you're not going to, yeah, I'm probably screwed here because they gave me crappy hands. Then again, they gave her crappy hands too. Uh, the only thing that I could hope for is that this right here is a bishop. I get hope. It's probably a kit. Yes. Okay, perfect. I got very lucky. Um, Okay, yeah, we should, we should got, we should, oh, ooh, that was pure luck right there. She got a crappy hand, too. Usually, she'll get a much better hand than that, and, well, you'll get screwed, but we got lucky this time. Nice. Yeah, you lost on purpose. It's so hard to hate these damn casino chicks, because they're so cute. In my opinion, anyways. You guys might not be attracted to, uh, fictional characters. I have no problem with that, so... I have no problem with you guys not being attracted to fictional characters, and I have no problem being attracted to fictional characters. I mean, I'm attracted to every, well, pretty much anything, actually. Real, not real, make-believe, imaginary, right hands, left hands, and, you know, the works. I'll do what I gotta do. Let's see, uh, let's, let's put a, uh, 
two and a joker actually this is actually also a good hand with the with a low number and a joker instead of a bishop and a joker because that way if they somehow happen to have a um, uh, what is it uh, I forget what I forget where I was going I was gonna say if they have like a king or something in there you you want to get screwed out of your uh, your joker being transferred to the other side and you winning but uh, that's pretty much the only good part about that actually now that I think about it anyways enough putzing around here let's just uh, go for some three powerhouses here let's see five uh, you know I want you no nope, dang it stop it okay uh, put you over there put you over there you yeah we're not gonna have enough for real good powerhouses unfortunately uh, Yeah, we're kind of screwed at. Yeah, a bunch of low face numbers. Um, let's see. Let's do that. Yeah, that's probably the best we're going to get is two 14s and an 18. Oh, well. King, you're going to win. Thank you. And, okay. They're choosing their crappy card to win for some reason. So, let's just go ahead and, well, get it out of the way, shall we? Then again, I feel kind of bad about using the king for that. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and just go for our 14. There you go. They're not going to have a special card over there because they're not. Very nice. I get... Well, I'm going to get my stake when she chooses it anyway, so... You son of a bitch. Okay. Um, Joker, you're going to be something that I don't, that I don't want to see. Okay, good. She manages to lose because of her bishop. Nice. That worked out pretty pretty well. Pretty well. And there we go. Not bad, not bad. The important thing is that as long as she doesn't manage to screw you over out of half your freaking winnings, you should be good. If she does manage to screw you over out of half your winnings, well, you're probably screwed. Alright, let's go for that same uh, same general setup last time. And we got a we got good high cards this time to uh, 10 values. You know, I, I don't know why I was thinking that you don't have queens in this damn game. Either I wasn't paying attention or I wasn't paying attention one of the two. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's put you over there. Uh, you over th there for right now. Four over there. Five over here. There you go. And then... There we go. Still not great, but tolerable. All right, let's see. Um, let's see. You can win. Yeah, you're gonna win anyways, as long as they don't have anything super crappy. But she chose my she chose my card to fucking win, so there goes half my winnings if she decides to screw me over. All right, so I'm worried there might be a king in there. Uh, there might be a king in there. Uh. I'm just going to hope that there's no king in there. Oh, frick. I thought that was the Joker. Oops. Damn it. Got to watch out for that. When you screw yourself over by thinking they, by thinking your bishop is the Joker, and you're like, oh, why did I lose? Bastards. Okay. Yeah, she's going to take half my money. Because um, she's going to choose this one in the next hand, almost guaranteed. So, I'm pretty much guaranteed to lose that. Which is unfortunate, but oh well. Unless that's a king right there. Yep, there goes half my fucking winnings. I hate this little bitch. I mean, on the one hand, yeah, I won my fucking, uh... I won my freaking hand, but still. And what really pisses me off is usually they wait till you win your hand like you're, uh... Okay, now see, this is the bullshit they start they start throwing at me later on in the fucking matches. Two fucking aces and nothing to fucking pair them up with. No jokers or any other bullshit like that. Yeah, that pissed me off. But anyways, as I was saying about the uh, thing, is a lot of times what they'll do is you'll... Okay, let's say we start out with the 4,050 right here. Then we win our hand. We go up to... Uh, 
6,075 or whatever because we win half our winnings back. But then they'll go ahead and win their prediction, and that'll take half of that winnings. Not half of the winnings you started out with, half of your new winnings. So they'll, t they'll take more than what you started with sometimes. So that pisses, that pisses me the fuck off. Let's see. Uh, I'm just going to put you guys by yourself and hope they don't... Hope they don't uh, choose you too much. Actually, you know what? They might have a few jokers hidden in there. Keyword there being might. I'm not counting on it, but they might. Yeah. Right. I wouldn't mind if those were jokers, but no, they get. They, they always pull this shit with with uh, just screwing you over with the uh, bullshit bishop hands right there. And of course, they're choosing my fucking cards again. Thanks, you little fucking bastard. See, as you can see, I don't have very great luck with this thing, because they cheat like sons of bitches. Um, I'm not gonna go up against that, because I'm almost guaranteed it's gonna be like the... Uh, three eights or two nines and an eight or three nines or some bullshit. So I'm just going to hope that uh, this is not a king. Okay, good. Now I got half my money back. Um, okay, that loses. Okay, that's not good. Uh, let's see. Let's hope that this has a king or something in it. And that'll be beautiful. You little cheating whore bag. You fucking bitch. Well, okay. Yeah, see, I actually, I have, I'm actually coming out with less money than what I started here because I started out the fucking match with four thousand. But no, she decides to take half my fucking money. The little ah, this little bitch. I hate this fucking bitch. I really do. That is some fucking bullshit that she's allowed to choose your fucking cards like that. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and put a ace and a three. Let's see, put a king by itself here. Joker. Joker, or not Joker, uh, Jack. I don't know why I'm calling it Jokers, but oh well. Um, let's see, put you over there. You. You. You and I guess yeah that works I guess let's see let's put our king as our victor stop choosing my fucking hands you little bitch okay at least that worked out reasonably well if she didn't stack like two nines or over there or something uh, let's see let's put our our king versus whatever this is. I mean, if we can manage to get it to the point where she doesn't get a chance to use her winning hand choice before we uh, finish the match, awesome. But if she does, well, then screw her. Okay, so... That was pure numbers. That means we're probably going to be good if we... Uh, don't have anything special here. Okay, perfect. She didn't get a chance to use her our hand against us here. I'm going to go ahead and try one more time. I don't like going to the sixth round because, like I said, this is where they start cheating, in my opinion. But, uh, okay. A two and a joker. That actually works out pretty well because we can just uh, pile those up there. Let's see. Let's see. And then, nine, eight, Seven, four by yourself, and one more. Okay, right there. All right, now I'm, I'm feeling actually pretty good about this hand right here. This is not going to be too horrible. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and see. This was the Joker and the two, right? Okay, so we put that as our winner there. And house leads, you bastard. Okay, um... Okay, that's not what I wanted, but okay, that works. Alright, so, let's go ahead and switch you over with you, just to automatically win. 
Thank you. Get our winnings back. Uh, now, she might screw us over by... Yep. She screwed us over. <sighs> you fucking bitch. I hate this fucking bullshit. That is some grade 8 motherfucking bullshit. I really think it is. They should not be allowed to do that. Wait, I wasn't trying to give up. I was actually going to go for one more hand there and, uh, you know, actually try for a uh, really high stake. But apparently, I double clicked there and now we're at 90,000 uh, uh, chips. I don't think there's a way to check your chips except for talking to this guy um, or talking to, like, a game because I don't think there's a way to figure out how many chips you have otherwise. All right. I hate to do this, but we're going to go for one last uh, round here. All right. And then next episode, we're actually going to be getting stuff done. But yeah, I just want to vent about Platoon here. That's, that's, that's all. Are you, are you fucking serious? Not a single fucking special card. Okay, you know what? Uh, one thing that people said was uh, good was just uh, try, to get, try to get as many hands to 20 as possible. And then from there on, you should be. Let's see, you should be good. Let's see, put the eight over there by yourself. Four, five by yourself. Um, so let's see how else we're gonna do this. Uh, actually, actually, hang on. There we go. Oh, I, I see what I did wrong. Okay. Okay, I need to switch that 8 out with that 10. Yeah, so basically try to get to 20, and then from there you should be good to... Uh, well, be good, I guess. You know what, let's try to just make this as high as we possibly can here. Dang it, no, I don't want the 5, I want the 6. Okay, and I want to switch the 4 with the 5. There we go. There you go. 21, 20. I don't think we're going to get better hands than that. Alright, so let's try a few more tries. A few more tries here. I'm almost positive she's going to have some bullshit like a uh, king or something over there. So I'm just going to go straight for the uh, side cards. Okay, that works. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and... This could be like a bunch of threes or something, but I'm... Counting on it not. Uh, it's probably not going to be... Okay, I'm hoping you're not a king. You son of a bitch. Are you fucking serious? And yeah, I'm fucking screwed unless she somehow has double jokers over there and no bishops so I'm pretty sure I'm fucked oh well there you go uh, I'm hoping that has a uh, something really good in there nope I'm fucked yeah every once in a while you'll get hands like this where she just says fuck you and you're just screwed in the asshole pretty much so yeah all right, I'm not going to take this sitting down. I'm going to go for one more successful hand here. All right, try to give me something fucking decent instead of all fucking face cards, you little bitch. All right, uh, let's see. Joker. That's right, I can't put our Joker by herself, even though we know we're going to put something with it. Yeah, there you go. All right, and then let's make uh, three good hands here. And then we're gonna have that three all by its freaking lonesome, because, well, I'm not gonna put that three with anything useful. At least not that I can think of. Uh, let's see. Four and three. Alright. Uh, you're gonna win because you're gonna switch with somebody awesome. And she's gonna lead. Fantastic. Please have a bishop. Nope. So we're off to a crappy start already. Thanks, lady. I fucking appreciate that. On the plus hand, she didn't steal anything extra. So that's nice.
All right, good night. Yeah, but see, now we're going to lose... Now we're not going to have as much in the long run anyways. We could be up to 300 right now, but no, she had to fuck me over, and uh, now we only get so many here. Um, fuck. Something over here is going to screw me. Uh, okay, I'm hoping you're not too bad. Fuck. Um, and I'm almost guaranteed that that hand on the left is a Joker-Ace combo. Almost fucking guaranteed. Or not. Well, that's a Jack-Ace combo, which is pretty close. Alright, we got really lucky right there, but we got a crappy fucking winning out of it. Alright, so hopefully we can actually do tolerable this hand. Alright, let's see. Uh, you, you... Yeah, of course they gotta toss in a bullshit uh, two and fucking three in there. Are you fucking serious? Okay, uh, King, you're gonna win. You know what? Let's just go ahead and go for whatever this is. Actually, no, that's probably gonna be a King and something else, isn't it? Um, actually. Let's see what's in here. Perfect. Oh, that means she that means she got a crappy hand too. Okay, nice. I can deal with that. Yeah, she did not get a good hand this time, so that worked out that worked out in our favor. Sometimes she'll sometimes she'll put her winning flag on a crappy hand like a, a three or something for no apparent reason. It's like, oh, I just feel like, you know. Making up for all the times I was a bitch in the last couple rounds. I, I don't know what she does, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, oh well. So I can usually like I, I can usually get up to a, even ninety thousand here reasonably well, but anything past that, and it's a crapshoot for me. If you guys manage to get up to freaking the high hundred thousands or some shit, good for you. Because honestly, I cannot do that to save my freaking life. Because as you can see, the game's not too fond of. Well, treated me good. Some people just have a lot more luck in this game than uh, others. I wish the blackjack table wasn't wasn't so cheating, though. I mean, uh, uh, the first time uh, after the last episode, I played what was it? Uh, thirty? I think it was thirty hands just to see how I did, and I won about ten of them. So I won about a third of them, pretty much. Yeah, and I can't even tell you the amount of time she just pulled a Jack Black out of her ass when I had a fucking uh, a king and a Jack on the table or some bullshit like that. She'd come up with a, a Jack or Black Black Jack, and I'd be like, seriously, seriously. So yeah, she would screw you over for all sorts of good reasons here. Uh, let's see. That worked out pretty well. That means okay, she got another crappy hand. Usually she does not have this many this many uh, crappy hands. Now if I can keep her from doing anything with that top left hand, we should be good. Uh, let's see. So let's go over here. Very nice. All right. So she's probably gonna choose her good hand. No, she did not. Hey, hey, there we go. She didn't get a chance to screw us over. Nice. I wish it would show you what the remaining cards were, like uh, what what she had in store for you if uh, after you win. That would have been a nice little touch. That way you could see just how she was planning to ream you in the bunghole, but oh well. Alright, so I got a losing card and a tolerable hand, I guess. Alright, so... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just do that. Those two hands are going to be screwed anyway, so... Alright. And plus, she, uh, I might get lucky and uh, the computer say, oh, that might be a good hand over there and put her winning uh, streak on there for whatever godforsaken reason. Alright, you're going to win. Okay, so let's see. I'm assuming that one of those two solos is a king. Yeah, see, this is the bullshit that I'm talking about where sometimes she'll just pull the fucking biggest fucking card she can find out of her ass at the end for no reason. I don't know why. I don't know how she gets so lucky there. 
okay. I'm gonna hope that you are a king right here. You might be... You're either gonna be a king or a bishop. Because you can't be a joker because you're by yourself. Yes, that worked out perfectly. Alright, um, okay. You son of a bitch. And there goes half my stake there. Alright, so... Uh, I am not confident about that left pile right there. There's something bastardly in there. And there goes my... And there goes my streak. Oh well. You know what? Screw it. One more freaking hand, just for... Just to get me riled up a little further, just for the heck of it. I mean, you guys can stop watching here if you want, because this is pretty much all I'm going to be uh, doing for the time being here. But, uh... Oh, well. Let's see. So, yeah, now you guys, now you guys can see why I occasionally rant about this freaking thing. Damn game for cheating on me like it does. Oh well. Some people get lucky. Some people like me do not. Okay, I'm gonna put you as the winner. Uh, okay, good. We're off to a start here. I'm gonna hope that this is not a king. Actually, you know what? Let's hope that this does not have a king in there. Okay, good. It does not have a king. We are awesome. Beautiful. We get... Uh, our stake. That single card is not going to be anything powerful. Nice. I don't know why she would choose to put a three as her winning card unless she seriously has nothing at all better than that. But, uh, oh well. Alright. There's no way she can have higher than a 22 in these, even if she did have like two queens. So there you go. Nice. I mean, sometimes she'll get the crappy hands, but for the most part she'll get the god mode hands and you'll get the you get the dog pile hands. All right, two kings. Nice, not bad, not bad. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how the heck, how the heck I did that damn thing where I selected two cards at once by accident. I mean, I've tried everything I can think of, and I don't know how I managed to select two of them. Anyways, let's just uh, stop putzing around there. Um, trying to decide if I'm going to put you by yourself or not. Because I could just make two beautiful hands here. But then she's going to choose one of those hands. It's like almost guaranteed. So hopefully she doesn't choose the hand. If she does, well, screw me. Eh, let's put three on there. Why not? Alright, so one of you kings is going to win. Okay, she chose to put my bishop hand as the winner, so... Alright, very nice. We're doing good so far. That means we got our... We got our bounty back. Very nice. And just to screw her over, we are going to lose right here. There you go. This way she can't screw me over again. Thank you. Alright, that better not be a... Why are you gonna have a solo two over there by yourself? That 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 that's just that just boggles my mind right there. I, I don't know why I don't know why she does that sometimes. Now I'm curious into what that last hand was. It's probably a Joker combo or something. Okay, let's keep our winning. So let's try again. All right, and let's see. We got. Okay, let's put a two and a joker there. Um, trying to decide. Okay, let's see. We got a king for itself, and then we got three reasonable hands, but nothing really great. Okay, you know what? Let's just make uh, two good hands again here, since we don't have enough for anything really fantastic. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and choose you as the victor. There you go. And, of course, she chooses my strongest hand as a, the winner. So, let's go ahead and joker our way into 
this pile right here. I'm positive there's not going to be a bishop in there. At least I hope there's not a bishop. Thank you. All right. Very nice. That worked out pretty well. Okay. We're doing good. We can, uh, we can prevent her from using our good hand there. Uh, let's see, yeah, 23 versus this guy. Yes, there's no way she can steal our money. That means we're going to have a nice fat 18,000 here. Nice. Alright, she's actually not screwing me over right now, so we're doing good. Uh, let's see, let's go for a 3 with the Joker. Uh, let's see. King by your lonesome. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just gonna stick with the two good hands if I can, and then the uh, or the two good hands, the king, and then the crap hand. So let's see if we can't do this. That seems to be working out reasonably well. And let's see, you, Joker, you're gonna be the winner. I like choosing the Joker as the winner because it works out. And uh, I was hoping I would be able to chance to win. That way I could knock out her good card with my good card automatically okay good we got lucky there that she had a uh, queen and not like another queen and another queen because she'll do that sometimes I I, 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 I oh she, she chose the wrong hand that's why okay oops I thought she chose her blue card I was like oh that was fast all right my hand wins your hand loses sucker yeah, 27,000. So that means we're going to get uh, roughly 70,000 when we win. Nice. Is it 20? No? Closer to 90,000, actually, but it actually about 80,000, actually, now that I actually use my maths right. Okay, you're going to have something good here, right? Okay, good. Sometimes you got to worry that that solitary middle card is going to be something like a king versus your lone king, which is probably not good for your health. All right, 82,000. Um, no, I'm not going to... I want to, but at the same at the same time, it's a guaranteed 82,000. All right, balls deep. If I, if I get a crappy hand, I'm going to cry. Like, I'm going to break down in tears and cry. Uh, let's see. Okay. You're crappy. You're crappy. You're awesome. Alright. As long as she doesn't get some extra bullshit strength cards, we should actually be pretty good. Uh, you know what? Let me do this actually real fast. Let me put the 7 over with the king. That way, if we do run into some random uh, king by itself, we don't tie and accidentally lose. All right, so let's, uh, all right, King, you're going to win. Okay, that's off to a bad start there. All right, let's go for, let's get this out of the way right now. Hopefully she doesn't have anything uh, too bastardly in there. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if we manage to win this and she doesn't screw us over, then we are going to do awesome. And I think we are good. Yeah. Nice. 300,000. <laughs> this is this is probably the this is actually the best hand that I've ever gotten simply for the fact that I usually don't have the balls to go any further than the fifth hand because she'll screw me over so bad. This is by far my most successful run of platoon, and I'm not about to I'm not about to jinx this uh, 300 to 70,000 chips that I got here. Yeah, I'm going to take this. I'm going to cash it into... Uh, I'm going to cash it into Sprite Dues and then money. And then next time, we're going to go ahead and advance the storyline. So guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good night. And I'm so glad that I did that final match. Whew. Usually I don't get that... I don't get that. That's the luckiest I've ever gotten in this casino. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't think I'm going to get that lucky again. So, woohoo! Alright, good night.